What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you an update on all my fish and a few stuff that I added to my tank. Please make sure you subscribe if you aren't already and make sure you like this video as well. So right over here I got a Fluvo 407. So I'm going to get it ready and show you guys how it is at the end of the video so keep watching. Now I'm going to show you my fish tank that you guys didn't see for a while. So I'm not going to get too much into details, but those were my two tomato catfish and the other catfish. And here's my hawkfish. It's a very aggressive fish, but it's actually a pretty cool fish to have. So over here is my chocolate chip starfish. I wouldn't recommend him because it eats almost everything, like livestock. And here's my sea urchin. It's a very cool cat. There are two clownfish over here. The starfish is in the back. And we have a sea urchin over here. And the horseshoe crab is in the sand somewhere. And as you can see, I have hermit crabs all over. And snails. And here's my other two blue damsels. And here's my yellow damsel that we saved in a previous video from a while ago and there's the blue velvet damsel and the hawkfish right there So we saved your two fish, but I'm gonna make a separate video for that. I just wanna show you guys for now put this in and I need to change the water. So now I'm gonna get more into detail with these cool hermit crabs. I personally think they're so cool because they like switch cells and stuff like that. And they actually clean like the ocean bed pretty much. Like anything left over from the food they would eat. They're pretty cool. Here's the final product of the Fluvo, and it came out pretty good. And here's the top piece to show you guys. And this takes out all the air that's inside the pump out, so it could start working. So guys, if you don't know, as of now, I have two saltwater fish tanks. Both of them are 55 gallons. In one tank, I have three fish, which is this tank. In the other tank, I have two tomato clownfish and two blue damsels and one yellow damsel. And a lot of hermit crabs in each tank and snails and things like that. And the starfish and sea urchins in the other tank, as you guys saw earlier. So right here, this big shell is actually the home of this tomato clownfish and the small shell right next to it is for the other tomato clownfish they sleep there during the night it's very cool i really like how they find their hiding spots so you have to try to make them like tunnels and caves like that so they go through it's actually a very cool thing to see and now it's swimming to the other fish and here are the other fish here's the yellow damsel and in the back is the blue damsel. They're pretty cool. Um, you have to have an odd number of them so they don't fight. And that's what you have to have. So you can't have an even amount of damsels in the tank or they're gonna fight and they're gonna kill one of the damsels, which is not good. And here are my two tomato clownfish next to each other. And my sea urchin right over there. And here's a Halloween hermit crab or a red hermit crab and there's another one next to it They're just laying there it's pretty cool and the horseshoe crab is somewhere in the sand here I'm gonna drop links below for you guys to see my horseshoe crab but now he's in the sand still so I'm not gonna bother it 
but usually they come out to eat algae and food that's all over. So if you guys want to check it out, it's in the description below. I'm going to put three videos. For guys, comment below what type of videos you want to see in the future, so I know what you guys want to watch. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe with the notifications on so you know when I upload a new video.